Nothing would be the same if we couldn't see color on our monitors, unless of course all you wanted to do was watch I Love Lucy reruns. But despite the fact that all modern computer monitors can display thousands if not millions of different colors, many of us perceive colors very differently, and I'm not talking about whether or not you spell it with a U. What I'm referring to is how colors tend to look different on different monitors, something that's very easy to see if you have a multi-monitor setup with different models of displays, or if you walk into a big box store and see a bunch of TVs all displaying the same thing. So why does it seem like it's hard to get monitors to reproduce colors correctly and consistently? Well, aside from obvious fixes like adjusting brightness, contrast, or even fixing ambient lighting in your office, bedroom, or hacker's den, one cause of the differences between displays is the use of color spaces. The human eye is capable of distinguishing many millions of different colors, but most monitors can't reproduce every single one of them. Instead, they can display a subset of those colors, known as a color space. The default color space for modern displays is called sRGB, which is very widely used by web designers when they create images and other elements for web pages. sRGB can be handled easily by displays, graphics cards, software, etc. So unless you've set your monitor to some kind of theater mode or told your computer to use a different color space, sRGB is probably what you're using. But higher end monitors sometimes support other color spaces, such as Adobe RGB, which you'll see on spec sheets if you're going for a professional grade display aimed at graphic designers. Although Adobe RGB supports the same number of colors as sRGB, the color space is a bit more spread out. Meaning Adobe RGB is popular with designers who need to work with purer colors that can be more heavily saturated. Color saturation also ties into bit depth. Many monitors use eight bits per channel, meaning that the intensity of red, green, and blue is expressed with an eight bit value. With an eight bit display, you wind up with 255 possible values, ranging from pure white to a completely saturated red, green, or blue. 10 bit displays by contrast have 1023 possible values, meaning that they can display over a billion colors and make gradients appear smoother, as opposed to having the like bars on 8-bit displays. But suppose you're not looking at high-end monitors and are still baffled why your $150 a pop displays look so different. In this case, check and see if you're looking at an IPS or TN display at the same time. Cheaper TN panels have a much worse viewing angle than their IPS counterparts, meaning that the colors can appear washed out if you're not looking at them dead on. Monitors can also vary quite widely in native contrast, which affects how well they can display black levels, meaning darker colors can be hard to tell apart on screens with low native contrast. And although we've already gone through more variables than you did in your high school algebra class, different kinds of backlighting will also affect your color. You can learn all about how that works in our video on backlights right up here. Of course, the human element is also a factor, and just like how some people need glasses while others have 20-20 vision, we also perceive colors differently from each other. So stay tuned for a follow-up video on how that works and why it's actually more of a problem now than it used to be. Also, thanks to Tyler from Spectracal for giving us an assist with this episode. FreshBooks is on a mission to make freelancers less stressed and more organized through their easy to use tool for crafting and sending professional invoices in seconds. FreshBooks also helps you track your hours so when it comes time to create that invoice, you know exactly what you did, when you did it, who you did it for, and all that kind of stuff. And you can even know if you have sent a deposit for them to receive on your schedule, which is awesome, getting paid. They also have a tool to manage your expense reports. Their mobile app lets you take a picture of your receipt and then it does everything. Getting started on FreshBooks is very simple. They even say it's very simple, especially if you're not a numbers person. So don't worry about it. Try FreshBooks for free for 30 days by going to freshbooks.com forward slash techquickie and entering techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. Yeah. Thanks for watching this techquickie. If you have suggestions for other things for us to check out, let us know. Comments down below on Twitter whatever those handles might be. Mine is Luke underscore LAFR. John's is, I think, jmart604. And Dennis's is? You say it. Dennis is hung? Yes. Yeah.
Anyways, check out this video. It's a channel super fun video. It's cool. Like this video if you liked it. Dislike it if you're like, no, everything looks the same forever. Although you might want to get your eyes checked if that's true because you might be like super colorblind. Anyways, uh, yeah, see you next time. Get subscribed. Bye.